As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Our women have completely changed the game. This is why, this is awesome. This is a big money fight anywhere on the globe. This is where you find out who you really are as an NXT superstar. This is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Our women have completely changed the game. This is why, this is awesome. This is a big money fight anywhere on the globe. This is where you find out who you really are as an NXT superstar. This is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Our women have completely changed the game. This is why, this is awesome. And now, WWE Network presents NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4 pre-show. NXT Universe, it was no sleep till Brooklyn, and thank goodness we are finally here. We're kicking off SummerSlam weekend in the Barclays Center, and the heat is all the way up. For the competitors, tonight isn't just about winning championships. It's about proving one's dominance in NXT, and in some cases, having the last word in a very personal and deep-rooted rivalry. Hello, everybody. We want to welcome you on to the NXT TakeOver pre-show. We're here at the Barclays Center. I'm Charlie Caruso, and we are so excited that we can be here today. This place is about to be jam-packed. It is going to be pumping because guess what? We are here. It's SummerSlam weekend, the biggest party of the summer. And I know I, for one, I have my party hat on. And I'm going to go ahead and assume the same for these two gentlemen to my left. First and foremost, he is one half of the Jim Norton and Sam Roberts show, the last professional broadcaster, Sam Roberts. First of all, this is my hair. It's not a party hat, but I'm excited nonetheless. I love this weekend. I love that we're here in New York. I was at Caroline's doing two live shows to hype this thing up. You were there. I saw you attempting comedy at Caroline's. I saw Pat attempting to watch you attempt comedy at Caroline's. It's been an amazing weekend, and it's only getting started. There are a lot of attempts going on this weekend, and we're yeah. going to keep that going. All right, next, he is from Barstool Sports. He played in the NFL. He's a former All-Pro. This man goes by the name of Pat McAfee. Charlie, thank you so much for that incredible introduction. Yes. Your comedy show was electric last night, thank I heard. You, thank you so Sam much. Roberts, it's not a party hat. That hair, though, looks phenomenal. We're in Brooklyn, the home of notorious Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z. And if you look outside, there's about 3,000 Corey Graves. This is a hipster paradise. And tonight, NXT TakeOver is going to do what it did in the Bayou in New Orleans, in Chicago. This roster is going to put on an incredible show, and I'm very happy to be here with you all. Absolutely. New York, the home of many famous mm -hmm. hip-hop icons. Mm -hmm. Tonight, we're going to find out who walks away with the championship gold here in NXT. And NXT TakeOver, I mean, we've seen it time and time again, just continues to outdo itself. Yeah, not as only is it continuing to outdo itself, but we're in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. This is TakeOver Brooklyn, historically the night 
in NXT. I mean, going back four years, it was the first time that NXT was in an arena. You had classics like Bailey and Sasha Banks. You had the ladder match between Kevin Owens and Finn Balor. Tonight, at the fourth anniversary of that show, we may outdo it. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know how they do it. I'm, the, every single show that I've watched of NXT, it just gets better and better and better. In Chicago, I mean, they burnt the house down, set up the weekend in beautiful fashion. And tonight, the card oh. is loaded. This show tonight is going to be electric. The crowd is already getting ready, and I'm, I'm very excited for tonight. I can't wait to see. Who walks out of here with all the championships? It's going to be beautiful. Well, tonight is definitely going to be big. As we all know, tonight's main event, a last man standing match between Tomasa Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. That match originally supposed to be a triple threat match that included Alistair Black. However, Alistair was the victim of a brutal attack. He's at a commission now, and everyone is looking to find out who is responsible. As general manager William Regal headed out to survey the scene, Johnny Gargano just happened to be passing by. He was one of Black's opponents for TakeOver Brooklyn 4. Here we see Undisputed Era's Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish peel out of the parking lot. Although it's difficult to see at first, we have made out that that is Lars Sullivan right there in the yellow. Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic are also filming as officials checked on Black. A second angle of the incident kicks off with Kyrie Sane and Candice LeRae, and Cassius Ono joins them. Then we see the trio of Jackson Riker, Steve Cutler, and Wesley Blake. Kona Reeves shoes away the cameraman. And lastly, after being laid out by the Undisputed Era earlier in the night, we see Ricochet waiting to leave the parking lot. In the third camera angle, NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler walks by, while Velveteen Dream can be seen visually upset in the background. The camera then catches Fabian Eichner, Cesar Bononi, and Marcel Bartel. And the most obvious suspect in all of this, NXT Champion Tommaso Ciampa, who was slated to defend his title against Black and Gargano on August 18th. And the last person we can identify in the video is EC3. While the attacker and the motive have yet to be identified, there are several superstars in those videos who would have reason to attack Aleister Black. The attack forced General Manager William Regal to change the NXT Championship match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4 to a last man standing match between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Stick with us here at WWE Now for more updates on Aleister Black's condition, as well as more updates on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Man, I mean, so many suspects here. It's really hard to keep track, but this surveillance also released earlier this week on WWE.com, although very blurry and kind of unidentifiable, does show some other action going on at the time of the scene. And this is just going to be one more piece of evidence that William Regal is going to use to find out exactly who attacked Aleister Black. And Aleister Black not wasting any time trying to go after exactly who attacked him. This here, an Instagram post he put on earlier this week showing the live event loop of NXT and over which he wrote, I am watching you. So, guys, you know, I can't imagine in such a blindsided attack that he'd have any idea who's responsible, but you know one thing is for sure. He is going to come back looking for vengeance. Well, everybody's a suspect, and it's pretty clear that Aleister Black was sending that message to NXT as a unit, to the mm -hmm. entire roster. This happened to him in NXT. Aleister Black's not the type of guy that's going to sit around and take this lightly, even if it means taking down the entire roster. What a roller coaster of life this has been for Aleister. Life comes at you fast, they say. For Aleister Black, he was the champion of this place. The NXT champion. He was running the show. He was going to main of everything. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Ciampa and Gargano's little bitterness gets in the way. He loses his title. Then he gets a two-piece Tuesday in the parking lot, attacked by somebody out of nowhere. Now he's out of the house. Penthouse to out of the house out of nowhere. I... In the, the writing he did on that photo, by the way, impeccable. I think that's really good. <laughs> Attention to detail on that artwork was very nice. But vengeance is the only thing that has to be on the mind of Aleister Black. And that guy, he's got a tattoo on his kneecap. He put a candle out with his hands. I would not want to be the person that is on the receiving end of whatever Aleister Black's going to do as soon as he gets back. Absolutely. And I mean, it's an investigation that who knows how long it can go on for. But it's something that 
it's a real William who done it really right now. needs to get to the bottom of. I mean, I think that this I really mean, is going to be something that's used almost as a precedent as how NXT handles things moving forward. For the too, safety like of this. the roster. He's got to do this. I mean, Alistair Black is going to come, like you said, like you said, with vengeance. And he's going to want to take out everybody. If William Regal wants to have a roster that's going to have any matches at all, he better find out who Alistair Black should focus on, because otherwise it's going to be on everybody. I love I, a I good I think you're mystery. right about that. Well, this is Me something too. we're going to continue to talk about. And the NXT Universe, they're talking about a whole lot tonight. We have such an epic takeover ahead of us. And Mike Rome, he's standing by outside the Barclays Center with all the buzz from the NXT Universe. Hey, Mike. Thank you, Charlie. We're out here in front of the Barclays Center right now, and it feels good to be with the NXT Universe. We're in the heart of Brooklyn for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn number four. Let that sink in, the number four. And you can see the energy out here is just palpable right now. We have people traveling from around the globe. We've got a guy from the UK here. We've got the representing the Undisputed Era. We've even got Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano represented here. We are ready to pack out the Barclays Center. They are loud and crazy. I'll tell you what, we're going to take this energy inside right now. Back to you guys. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. The energy is insane out there. And guys, I have a feeling inside it is going to be no different. This place is going to be pumping. All right, now, there's only one reason why. I mean, we have NXT TakeOver Brooklyn just minutes away. And unfortunately, if you couldn't be here with us in the building tonight, that's not a problem. You can still watch from home, but there's going to be only one way to do so. That will be on the WWE Network. So head on over to WWENetwork.com. Sign up and NXT TakeOver free wow. to all new subscribers and all four championships are on the line tonight. I mean, listen to this card we have tonight. The tag team title is on the line as the Undisputed Era defends against the men that they took those titles from. Mustache Mountain. Mustache Mountain is one of my favorite names in the history of anything. Also this evening, the impeccably tanned EC3 takes on Velveteen Dream and something that is going to be electric and epic. I can't wait for the Barclays Center to explode while that goes on. And Ricochet, the man has been gunning to take on Adam Cole for weeks now. Tonight, he finally gets his chance for the North American Championship up for the taking. And tonight, we're going to see the winner of the inaugural May Young Classic, Kaidi Sane, try to get the Women's Championship away from Shayna Baszler, one of the most dominant champions in history. The only place you're going to be able to see that is streaming live on the WWE Network. Kyrie might be staring down a monoscope of a bad night. Shayna is no joke. Also this evening, the headline, the main event. It was originally a triple threat, but now it is a brutal, savage, last man standing match between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Last man standing, oh. Sam. Yeah, Pat, if you thought that these guys tore each other apart before, the only way to win this match is to leave your opponent incapacitated to the point that he can't answer the referee's 10 count. And of course, that's by any means necessary. No rules. No rules. There's no rules. None. And the action is not stopping here tonight. It will continue on to the SummerSlam kickoff show tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. And then it doesn't even stop there. Of course, next up, the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, happening at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. So, guys, I mean, I just got to say here, there is really only one option here, and that is to get on over to WWENetwork.com and sign up because... For new subscribers, SummerSlam and NXT TakeOver are free, free for new subscribers. I and mean, you this talk is about, something you don't want to miss out look, on. Charlie, you talk about a loaded card for tonight. Wait till you hear what's going on tomorrow. The Universal Championship, of course, is on the line. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. The WWE Championship match that I'm looking forward to. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. And, of course, the one the world is watching. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line as Alexa Bliss defends against Ronda Rousey. It's oh wild that that's all free for new subscribers. It is. On the house. Wild. On I mean, the house. Do you want to be the one person missing out? You just said the whole world's watching. Yeah. So you want to be watching too. Yeah. So as I just said, head on over to www.network.com, sign up, and NXT TakeOver and SummerSlam free for all new subscribers. Unbelievable. All right, and we got to talk about what's going down tonight. We have the NXT Tag Team Championships up for grabs, and it will no doubt be a high-intensity action-packed match between two high-octane offense teams. It's undisputed eras Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly defending their titles against Mustache Mountain's Tyler Bate and Trent Seven. 
And it all went down two months ago at the Royal Albert Hall. You can see here. I did not see this coming. Battle. It was in the historic. Wow, look at the pop. The crowd lost it there. Well, they won the tag team championships. That was Mustache Mountain taking the tag team title away from what the team that people were thought were unbeatable. But I, I would like you to know. Era. I would like you to know. Yeah. I got my New York fade done backstage. Yeah. Okay. I was getting my beard trimmed next to Mustache Mountain. But look at what happened to yeah. Mustache Mountain, Pat. Look at what happened to him. They came back to the States and they lost those tag team championships back to the champions now, of course, the that, Undisputed Era. That's all they were talking about backstage. They cannot wait to get up there. They cannot wait to show what they got. And but to be at, honest, their face is looking Look incredible. at Trent, look at Trent here. He couldn't make the tag. His knee is injured. Tyler Bate doesn't know what to do. They've been friends forever. Throws and he in throws the, the towel. The towel. Our, yeah, we gotta see what happens here. Earlier today, Kathy Kelly, she caught up with Undisputed Era for WWE Now. Well, a lot could change tonight with your titles on the line, the NXT Tag Team Championship match against Mustache Mountain. Are you worried at all? I mean, especially with the NXT North American Championship title on the line as well, that Undisputed Era could walk out of Brooklyn without any titles. Listen, Kathy, you shame know Mustache on you. Mountain is dangerous, okay? They're gonna bring the fight. We're in for the fight of our lives here tonight, but this is one year since we made history. This is one year since we shocked the system. If you think for a second that we're not gonna make the same magic here tonight at Barclays, you're out of your freaking mind. What we do Nothing is set ourselves about. apart from everybody every time we go out there, and tonight's gonna be no different. We're gonna show the whole entire world that we're on another level and no one is even close to us. Yeah, and as far as Ricochet goes, like I've said before, he's good. Some nights I'll give it to him, he's even great, but he's not special. He's not Adam Cole, he's not the Undisputed Era. So the North American Championship is going nowhere, the NXT Tag Team Championships are going nowhere. Oh boy. I mean, Sam, you have made it very clear that you think that this could be one of the matches, maybe even the match, to steal the show tonight. And we were talking about that before we came on. Yeah, I really do, and I talked about it on my podcast this week. I think that this is the match to steal the show. It wouldn't be the first time that a tag team match has stolen the show at NXT Brooklyn. We go back to Gargano and Ciampa against The Revival. But that's because these two teams know each other so well. We saw in the past the Undisputed Era took advantage of that injury that Trent suffered yeah. during the match to the point where Tyler Bate actually had to throw the towel in, not only on the match, but on their championship. At the same time, Mustache Mountain is one of the few teams that knows how to beat the Undisputed Era because they did it at the Royal Albert Hall. But they also have impeccable, uh, Mustache Mountain, best name I've ever heard in my entire life. I remember you saying that. Best name, their faces are incredible, but it feels as if the Undisputed Era is just on this wave of momentum that is almost unstoppable. I hope the Mustache Mountains can pull it out. It's just the one mountain, the two create, form and they make a mountain. <laughs> Let's not get into the geography of this whole thing, but I am excited to watch it happen. And honestly, as a man who's had a little bit of some give and take with a member of Undisputed Disputed era. If these Brits could come in here and knock them down a peg, I think the world would be excited about it. I well, think the world would be excited. You mentioned that Undisputed Era has a lot of momentum on their side. They've got a lot going on, but Mustache Mountain might want to take these UK titles and defend them in on NXT, NXT UK. I mean, that's something you have to think about too. That's the, extra that's motivation. That's the motivation. For them. Like that, these guys from the UK. A lot of people thought they would never be in WWE or NXT, and now not only do they have the opportunity to win these titles but they have the opportunity to take the titles, bring them back to the UK, and defend them under that new NXT UK brand. The best tag team out of Britain since the British Bulldogs. Wow. And they want to take the belt, they want to take the championship back to Europe, and I'm excited for them to potentially do it this evening. Are right, you guys going to throw out a quick prediction? I think that tonight it's going to be about Mustache Mountain. They know, like I said, they know how to beat the Undisputed Era, and most, most teams don't. I'm going with the mustache bearded fellas as well. All How about right. that? Good for England. England, you know, not a lot of wins. Good for England. <laughs> they, they need can more out. wins. All right, we are going to be back with the NXT TakeOver pre-show. We're going to be breaking down more matches and also trying to get down to the bottom of the Alistair Black controversy. Our women have completely changed the game. This is why, this is awesome. This is a big money fight anywhere on the globe. This is where you find out who you really are as an NXT superstar. This is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. The price of your
As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. You're listening to Blood Water by Grandson from the album A Modern Tragedy Volume 1, an NXT Loud theme song for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, available now on iTunes and Spotify. And tonight, the bizarre gets even more bizarre. It's the Purple Rainmaker versus NXT's Goldenrod. The One versus the Top 1%. It is the Velveteen Dream versus EC3 going one-on-one, -on -one, each of them looking to leave Brooklyn with the full and undivided attention of the NXT universe. The question is, is EC3 ready for the experience? Velveteen Dream. Ambiance, atmosphere, illumination, experience. Velveteen Dream, talk about a meteoric rise. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? The dream can still hear the people buzz about what the next experience is gonna be. EC3 changing the game. EC3 equals the formula for success. Velveteen Dream, you claimed the people were buzzing about what the next experience could be. EC3, that experience could have been EC Dream. We are about to see a dream tag team. Royal Albert Hall. Velveteen Dream walked out on EC3. The Dream has no memory of that. What do I think of the Dream's world? It's a waste of time. Instead of basking. In the experience, you made an enemy. Whoa! And take over Brooklyn EC3. The dream is going to embarrass you. Two of the biggest superstars who refuse to share the spotlight. Oh, boy! Ow! Velveteen Dream will realize the only experience worthy of the spotlight is N. X3 is dream over. So Velveteen Dream, he has built up quite the reputation. Oh, Michael yeah. Cole labeled him as can't miss. John Cena said he could be the one. All the coaches at the Performance Center said he's the next big thing. Well, I mean, people are saying the same thing about EC3, though. P I, John Cena also said he wanted to uh, re have a match with EC3 at WrestleMania at, in the future at some point. Both of these guys, that's why this match is so important. Inevitably, uh, before I do shows like this, people come up to me and they ask me about TakeOver. And you know what questions they ask me every time? Who's Velveteen Dream facing? Who's EC3 facing? Really? Tonight, they're facing each other to find out who the next guy is. EC3 gave me a free T-shirt in Chicago. It fits, I still wear it. His tan, incredible. His victory after victory after victory mantra begins tonight with Velveteen Dream. I honestly feel that Mr. Three is gonna steal the show tonight. Well, Pat, you'd know better than me. I think the Velveteen Dream was the first one that made this personal at the Royal Albert Hall. Yep. But we saw the EC3 throw him into a pool. Into a, into a yes, body yeah. of water. If, if a man the size of EC3 threw me into a pool, mm -hmm. I would hide underwater, hopefully until he went away or until I passed out. But you're an athlete, Pat. Yeah. 
How do you respond to that? Somebody throws you in a pool well, and you I, have a match with them. I have a hole in my eardrum, Sam Roberts, so if I get thrown into a pool, it's probably a headache for like two weeks. Yeah. I'd be very upset. I'd be disappointed. But when you look at EC3 and Velveteen Dream, those are two people I would do nothing to. Those are physical specimens. I go ahead and turn the other cheek. But those two this evening, you said Cena wants to have a match with EC3. He does. Cena only makes bangers. You ever see Ferdinand? He was a bull, and it was awesome. Doesn't get talked about enough. EC3 and Velveteen Dream, very much the future of the, uh, sports well, entertainment, but I cannot wait to watch Mr. Look, 3 start a victory after victory run tonight in Brooklyn. Ferdinand was nominated for an Oscar, but that's besides the banger point. Banger of the made me cry. Tonight, a banger. You know who's been making bangers at takeovers one after another after another? Who? EC3 yep. and the Velveteen Dream, yep. and tonight it's going to be a real banger, I think, mm -hmm. because we're going to see him collide, finally. These are two irresistible forces coming together here. But it's so Fan bizarre favorites, to watch sides. them interact. I mean, it's just bizarre. It's almost like, does one know what the others think? I mean, are they on no. the same wavelength at all? I think they both live in their own world. Like, that, both of them have similar strategies in the fact that they don't think about their opponents. They think about themselves. It's their confidence that has got them to where they're at, and they both have tremendous careers. Both of them, I think, need the win tonight to get put into the conversation of the championship, one guy is going to get that win. Okay, and who is that guy going to be? EC3, he's a question. Velveteen Dream, because okay. Pat's wrong a lot. Well, he gave me... Oh. That is wrong. All right, what gentlemen, we, we're wrong. not going to get into this right now. We've got, we've got a split Sam, decision right stupid. now. We also have another highly touted competition going down tonight, and it is for the North American Championship. Tonight, Adam Cole out to prove that he is, in fact, the fighting champion when he defends his title against the high-flying Ricochet. Ricochet is ready to take his career to the next level, but after being called a coward, Cole has no intentions of leaving Brooklyn empty-handed. Don't be stupid, Sam. I wasn't. How has the past year been? for Adam Cole and NXT. A seismic shift in the NXT landscape. First ever NXT War Games matchup. Adam Cole won. First ever NXT North American champion. You're looking at him. Adam Cole cannot be stopped. Let's go. We are the ones at the top of the mountain. Climbed all the way up and never looked down. Run with the right crowd that likes to rumble. Hold a nice crown, it's hard to be humble. We welcome you now to our arena. If you don't know by right now, it's hard to beat us. They can say what they want. Only makes us stronger. Take us straight to the top. Use the hate to launch us. Ricochet is bringing his brand of excitement to NXT. I'm a guy who can do some things that not many, if any, body can do. I'm going to change this industry forever. There's only one ricochet, and I make it look good. NXT TakeOver New Orleans. I had my hands on that championship, and Adam Cole found a way to steal it. There are three types of superstars. There's good, there's great, and there's special. Ricochet is a good superstar. He might even be great. He's not special. Adam Cole is special. It's not about being good. It's not about being great. It's not about being special. It's about being better. I think you're good, but you're hiding behind that championship. Go ahead and leave, just like the coward I thought you were. I am a once-in-a-lifetime performer. The NXT North American Championship is a very special championship because of the man who holds it. That title needs to be around the waist of somebody who will go out there each and every night and defend it with honor, with respect, and with the intention on making that the most important championship in NXT. And Adam Cole, he's failing at that. When I beat the best Ricochet, I'll show the world that there's a better Adam Cole. I promise you, it's only going to hurt you even more whenever your name is wiped off that championship and replaced with Ricochet. Woo. Man, this, this match is going to be something. And, you know, it's funny to think that this is the very building. It holds a lot of significance for Adam Cole. And just a year ago, yeah. this is where he burst onto the NXT scene. And, man, 
have things changed for him in the past year? Well, I remember seeing him come through that Brooklyn crowd and enter the ring for the first time into NXT. Mm -hmm. I've been talking about Adam Cole for years and years and years and following him and watching his matches, and special is the right word for him. I've said that I, I've been waiting for him to be a WWE superstar for a long time, and in the last year, he's proven that he is that in NXT. But Ricochet is really, really spectacular. Absolutely. I don't Adam think Cole there's any question about dork. that. Adam Cole called me a dork. So okay. I hope I hope <laughs> Mr. Ricochet does the world a favor this evening. Man, I think he will. Uh, it's just bias. Somebody's butt hurt over here. He made fun of my jorts and he called me a dork. Oh, come I get on. That. Come on, Pat. Not, All right, well, American now champion. we do have a guest joining our panel. It is the one man who is actually taking on Adam Cole tonight for the North American Championship, and I'd like to welcome Ricochet to the panel. How are you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Now, you have really been pushing for this match for some time. Adam Cole has just been brushing you off, but tonight you finally get the opportunity. So how are you feeling? Do you feel any additional pressure that this match is going down on a big NXT TakeOver stage? Um, no, honestly, uh, this is the moment that I have been uh, working for my whole entire career. The past 15 years, this is the moment that, uh, that I've been working for. And Adam Cole, I've been asking for this match. I have been pretty much begging him to have this mm -hmm. match because I know, I know at the end of the day that I can beat Adam. Ricochet, Sam Roberts here. Now, you said there's only one Ricochet and that you make it look good. I don't Ooh. think anybody could deny that, but you've been watching, you've been aware and watching Adam Cole as long as anybody. You've had just as long of a career. He said he's special. Do you, you make it look good, but do you think you are as special or more than Adam Cole? See, that's the thing. Adam's talking about how I'm not on his level. And uh, I agree, Adam, Adam Cole is on another level. The whole Undisputed Era is on another level. And uh, no, I, I agree with him. I'm not on his level because I actually exceed each and every one of those guys. And I'm going to prove it tonight once I become the new North American champion, so. Ricochet, yeah. you look flawless. Peyton Manning here. I have a question for you this <laughs> evening, okay? The one. North American Championship is on the line here. The North, yep. that's Mexico, United States, Canada, and I'm assuming I'm missing a country here and there. Do you feel any more pressure knowing that the citizens of all these countries in North America are not big fans of the current North American champion? And he's, he made fun of jorts, to be honest. I don't know how North America that is. Do you feel any pressure with that, Mr. Ricochet? Honestly, that's, uh, that's the thing. Um, of course, I, I do feel a little bit more pressure because uh, the, the magnitude of this match, the caliber of this match, the North American Championship is on the line. My first ever championship match uh, in NXT. So there is a little bit more pressure, but uh, I'm, hand, uh, I'm, I'm built to handle pressure. I've been put in high pressure situations before and I have uh, exceeded in those. And this is, uh, I'm looking at this no, no other way, uh, just going into it the same way I go into every high pressure situation. That's what got me here and that's what I continue to get success in. So I'm just gonna look at it the way I always do and uh, try to hit it the way I can, you know what I mean? No pressure, no diamonds, Rick. Ricochet, can't That's wait right. to watch you work tonight, you human joystick video game. <laughs> can't wait for it, Ricochet. He really Thank is. you guys so much. Ricochet, you said something interesting. You said that you were better than not only Adam Cole, but everybody in the Undisputed Era. And all, all five of you guys have traveled the world doing this for a long time. How long have you felt that you were better than all of those guys? Uh, see, it's not that I've felt that way for a long time. It's just here recently, I've been seeing how they've been acting. I see how Adam's been acting. He's been kind of hiding under the, behind the uh, North American Championship. So I've been seeing that. And uh, I feel like, although in his way, he probably sees that he is putting some prestige to this championship in his own way, but I feel like he's been failing at that. And the only way to add that prestige is to go out there each and every night and defend it against anybody and everybody, uh, all comers. And sure, he's, he's done it here and there, but. I know, again, he feels like that is enough, but to me, that's just not enough. So I feel like tonight, once I become the new North American champion, I will continue that prestige and make that belt one of the most important in NXT. Let's go. Wow. Let's wow. Like that. All right, oh, wow. well, yeah, we are gonna find out who exactly is going to continue that prestige as Ricochet takes on Adam Cole for the North American Championship. Ricochet, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so Thank much you for guys. taking some time out and, and joining us here on not the panel. No problem. All right, and also hanging in the balance tonight, we have the Women's Championship. Earlier today, we saw Kyrie Sane making her way into the arena. You know, she remains extremely confident despite going against this ultra-dominant competitor, Shayna Baszler, who, from the likes of it, doesn't really see a real threat in Kyrie Sane. And look who's with her, man. I, yeah, I don't, I don't really blame her. And we're gonna break that match next on NXT TakeOver Pre-Show. Ronda Rousey is not forgotten.
when Alexa Bliss did to her in her championship opportunity in Money in the Bank. Yeah. Rousey is not supposed to be here. What is she doing? Clearly, you don't understand the difference between UFC and WWE. You overhyped rookie. Your match with Alexa Bliss will be for the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. Ronda is ecstatic. Bliss is livid. That look in Ronda's eyes is never good. Oh, my God. And a roundhouse kick it out of the rights and lefts. Rousey is ready for Sunday. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. We are getting ready to go live on the WWE Network with NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. It is round number four with TakeOver Brooklyn, and we are ready for the biggest party of the summer, getting started here on the eve of SummerSlam. And there is so much exciting action going down tonight. The card is stacked from top to bottom. So now we want to throw things over to our commentary team, who will be calling all of the NXT TakeOver action tonight. Maura Ronaldo, Nigel McGuinness, and Percy Watson. Hey, guys. Mama Mia! <laughs> Mama Mia, indeed, Mr. McAfee. Charlie, thank you so very much. The action tonight is going to be hotter than the Parker Solar Probe as the NXT superstars attempt to kiss the sun with their sizzling skin. Skills, five fantastic matches, including four championship bouts. Well, it's a rivalry that has led to two of the most dramatic tag team matches in NXT history, and the rubber match tonight looks to be no different. The Undisputed Era takes on Mustache Mountain for the tag team championships tonight. And two egotistical superstars who also have championship aspirations tonight do battle for the spotlight when EC3 faces the Velveteen Dream. The gif or jif that keeps on giving. Ricochet has accused the pernicious Adam Cole of ducking him. Cole claims Ricochet isn't at his level. We'll find out tonight when they clash for the NXT North American Championship. I know it, she knows it. I can beat Shayna Baszler. These are Kyrie Sane's words. Baszler feels, however, that Sane doesn't have the killer instinct. We'll find out who is right when Sane takes on Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship tonight. And, and the most intense rivalry in NXT history spawns another brutal chapter. But this time, the NXT Championship is at stake as Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano go at it in a last man standing match. Man, we cannot wait. The biggest stage in NXT right here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And right now, we want to take a closer look at the NXT Women's Championship match. Shayna Baszler has been a tour de force as champion. But Kyrie Sane has had Baszler's number in the past. Welcome to the historic May Young Classic. 32 women from 13 countries. Somebody's going to walk away the inaugural winner of this tournament. Kai Singh with the insane elbow. And Kyrie Singh has been Shayna Baszler to win the first ever May Young Classic. NXT Kai Singh is here. The winner of the first May Young Classic ready to set sail in the NXT ring. Known as Ona Kaizoku, the female pirate. Don't let her sunny disposition fool you. She's tough, she's quick, she's like lightning in a bottle. She really has captured the hearts of the WWE Universe. And she's now focused on capturing the NXT Women's Championship. What the? Oh, 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 oh. Shayna Baszler! She hasn't forgotten that loss. Yeah, a year ago, Kyrie beat me in the Mae Young Classic, but everyone forgets that I beat her also. Kirifuda driver! Right into the Kirifuda clutch! Kyrie's got a tap! Baszler able to submit the Pirate Princess! Look what I've accomplished since then. Oh my god, we have a new NXT Women's Champion! All Kyrie has is what she did last year. That's why I'm here with this and she's not. Since the Mae Young Classic, I haven't won against Shayna. That has to change. 
going to be a rematch of the May Young Classic. I know it. You know it. I can beat you. You don't have what it takes. I have killer instinct. You don't. Whoa, whoa! Face they're attacking! Hooray with the Kirafuda clutch! Oh, and Kyrie Sane has seen enough! Allow me to introduce you to what you thought you knew. Thought you found my dark side. Shayna, you will see my Kira instinct. When I walk out of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn with this still over my shoulder, nobody's ever going to bring up the Mae Young Classic ever again. At TakeOver, I will be the next NXT Women's Champion. We all do realize that Shayna lost to Kyrie in the Mae Young Classic last year, but Shayna said it herself, she is a shell of what she was at that point in time. So really, I think it is important to speak on the improvement of Shayna since then. Well, I mean, improvement is an understatement. I loved watching the Mae Young Classic. I was locked into it the entire time it was on. I fell in love with Kati Singh. Mm -hmm. It was the, the way she reinvented the elbow drop, the forearms. I looked at her and said, I can't wait to see what she's going to do in NXT. Shayna Baszler, in that final match, it was the two of them, the best of the entire tournament. I think that that loss changed Shayna Baszler. Because what happened after that is Shayna Baszler came out and took the attention that I had for Kaidi Sane, and she put it on her. Yeah. She, the way she ran, th she's run through the NXT roster, the way she's, she's become an unbeatable women's champion makes me feel like if that final match of the Mae Young Classic happened again, and it will tonight, it may not go the same way. The way you pronounce Kaidi. 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 Kaidi's got it. She's, she's a sailor. <laughs> But I think she's in for some rough seas ahead. I voted against Shayna Baszler in Chicago, and that was a mistake that I don't think I'll ever, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to make up for that. I thought the Scottish Looney Tune was going to come in there and be Shayna Baszler. Seems like she could beat anybody on earth in a physical altercation. I will never do that again. I think Kaidi Sane is in a bad position here with Shayna Baszler, and make that for anybody that gets in there. She is a monster. Will you tell me, Pat? After a loss. Can't that motivate you? Can't that change you as an athlete? Can't that make you better? Yeah, I, I believe like chip on the shoulder is a real thing. And whenever you lose, you gain chips on the shoulder. I think that is what made Shayna Baszler become this unstoppable force that she has become now after losing the Mae Young Classic. But like she said, that was a year ago. And to be honest, I like Kati. I like the monocular. I like the monoscope. I like the sailing, the pirate princess. I like, I like it all. But, but it's good. It's, but it's Shayna Baszler is another. Kyrie Pat. seems so level-headed, though, and I not think anymore. That... It's important that Pat brings up all the the, the pirate stuff, the the monocle or whatever it's called. Everything we saw a different expression yep. on the face of Kyrie Sane. I agree. We may be seeing a different Kyrie Sane. Maybe she's not going to have the steering wheel and the hat. Maybe she's going to be a little bit more focused on beating this monster, Shayna Baszler. Well, she, she, needs, she needs to be focused if she hopes to have any chance at walking away with the championship. But I want to get your predictions who you think is going to win tonight. I think Kaidi may be underestimating the brutality of Shayna Baszler. Okay. I think Shayna Baszler retains again. Yeah. Normally, Sam says very dumb things, but in this particular case, I agree with him. Shayna Baszler isn't going to lose until she decides that she wants to lose. History wouldn't agree with you. This is groundbreaking. You guys agree. All right, well, Mike Rome is standing by with the NXT Universe, and he is telling us what is going on right now here in the Barclays Center. Good news, guys. We made it inside to Barclays. Plays about the NXT universe, and you know what? You thought the energy was loud out there. It is even crazier inside the Barclays Center, and why not? Tonight, you're going to see the likes of EC3 take on the Velveteen Dream. Of course, we've got the NXT North American title on the line, the NXT Women's Championship on the line, the NXT Tag Team titles, and of course, the NXT Championship. Now, we all know originally that was a triple threat match, and tonight, our general manager, Mr. William Regal, will be joining the panel to talk about the biggest mystery in NXT. As, as it stands right now, tonight, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, in a last man standing match for the NXT Championship. Oh, 
Right, well, Johnny Gargano, he is incensed. He's really unable to shake what happened in Chicago from his mind. He's now ready to take on his bitter enemy, Tommaso Ciampa. But Ciampa says Gargano Fairy Tale is over. We are going to find out how this war ends in coming up next on the NXT TakeOver pre-show. The battle the world's been talking about. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. Brock is going to put down the big dog and go on the UFC and become a two sport champion. I don't give a crap about the WWE Universe. This is my own. Roman claims he is the uncrowned champion. This time, the story will end with me becoming champion. Who will survive? The big dog, the beast, for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. You're listening to Made in America by The Fever, 333 from the album Made in America, an NXT Loud theme song for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, available now on iTunes and Spotify. And this place is going. We are less than 16 minutes away from going live on the WWE Network with TakeOver Brooklyn. This place pulsing with energy. Everybody knows what's at stake tonight here on the eve of SummerSlam. Now, tonight's main event, it's going to be a last man standing match between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. As we all know, this was supposed to be a triple threat match, including Aleister Black. He was brutally attacked. He is no longer able to compete. Everyone now trying to figure out exactly who was responsible for this. As general manager William Regal headed out to survey the scene, Johnny Gargano just happened to be passing by. He was one of Black's opponents for TakeOver Brooklyn 4. Here we see Undisputed Era's Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish peel out of the parking lot. Although it's difficult to see at first, we have made out that that is Lars Sullivan right there in the yellow. Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic are also filming as officials checked on Black. A second angle of the incident kicks off with Kyrie Sane and Candice LeRae, and Cassius Ono joins them. Then we see the trio of Jackson Riker, Steve Cutler, and Wesley Blake. Kona Reeves shoes away the cameraman. And lastly, after being laid out by the Undisputed Era earlier in the night, we see Ricochet waiting to leave the parking lot. In the third camera angle, NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler walks by, while Velveteen Dream can be seen visually upset in the background. The camera then catches Fabian Eichner, Cesar Bononi, and Marcel Bartel. And the most obvious suspect in all of this, NXT Champion Tommaso Ciampa, who was slated to defend his title against Black and Gargano on August 18th. And the last person we can identify in the video is EC3. While the attacker and the motive have yet to be identified, there are several superstars in those videos who would have reason to attack Aleister Black. The attack forced general manager William Regal to change the NXT Championship match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4 to a last man standing match between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Stick with us here at WWE Now for more updates on Aleister Black's condition, as well as more updates on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Well, clearly so many suspects in this case, and here is even more evidence to what was committed against Aleister Black. You can see here it's a little bit blurry. You can't exactly see what's going on, but this piece of evidence, this surveillance video, will be one more thing that will be used to figure out exactly how and what happened to Aleister Black. Now, Aleister Black, he is not taking kindly to what happened, this blindsided attack. He took this post on Instagram. He took the live shot photo of what the NXT loop was. He wrote over it, I am watching you. You know that vengeance is on his mind and when he is able to return, he will be coming in hot. Now, 
obviously a lot more questions than there are answers right now at this point of time. But here to help us get to the bottom of this controversy, give us a little more insight, is the NXT General Manager, William Regal. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, Charlie. Uh, Sam, how Mr. Are Regal, you? right? Obviously, this is all very new to everybody in terms of figuring out what's going on. I mean, yes. new evidence is coming out all the time, but we really would like to just kind of figure out what you know and, and where you're going forward from here in terms of solving this case. Firstly, there is one thing that I can tell you for definite, and that is that I spoke to an undisputed area today and having looked at the surveillance footage and taken into account everything, they are no longer sus wow. suspects. Wow, wow that's so, huge. Huh. But that's all I can tell you, because this investigation is ongoing, and there's still so much to study and so much to to take in and, and question everybody. But I promise you, you'll be the first people to know when I know. So whoever did this, not only is it an attack that was not sanctioned, they completely upset the course of NXT. Yes. Yeah. What type of consequences do you have in mind for when you do find out who's doing this? This is a tough question to ask. Uh, answer, um, to be honest with you, Sam, yeah. uh, in 35 years that I've been doing this, this may turn out to be the hardest thing I've ever done because this could mean me losing a key member of my roster. Wow. A oh. key member of someone that I've possibly scouted. Somebody that, in fact, I will have scouted. Somebody that I wanted here in NXT, which could stop them. You know, it literally changes the course of WWE over the next 10 or 15 years. Wow. It's that simple. If, if, it, if it's... That's all I can say, I, I, and there's not a lot else I can say. I'm, I'm, I'm coming across a bit flustered, but that's how an important do you worry a, a, a decision it's, this is. It, it's um, it's something I've never had to deal with. Do before. you worry that if you don't deal with it quickly, that Aleister Black is going to come back and just take out everybody because one of those people must be guilty? All these things are on my mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. When you're the general manager, you got to put the, the big boy pants on when people don't want to. It seems like exactly, you, yes. you, yeah, you're very flustered. It, have you lost sleep over this? It seems like this I is... Haven't, you know, it, it's part of the job, but it, it, it's a very distressing situation. Yep. You know, I mean, the, the, you think everything's going as smoothly as it possibly can be. We know there's always things that are going to change. That's the nature of the beast. But our main event tonight was disturbed greatly because yep. of this and something that I put a lot of thought into. And so now... I've got to deal with this as well, and, and everybody that's in NXT and everything that involves NXT, and all the fans, because they all want to know. And so, I, flustered, no. Disappointed, upset, yes. Well, Mr. Regal, I know you have a very busy night ahead of you. Yes. You're not only getting to the bottom of this investigation, which probably is going to have to wait another day, but you have a lot going on with the NXT TakeOver. Brooklyn Certainly show, do, and yes. you know we we, we want to thank you for being here with us. Oh, though. thank and, you for having me. And good me. luck in figuring out what happened. I know this can't be easy for you or really anyone in NXT. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. you look incredible. Your hair looks flawless. A lot better than Sam's. Pat, I wish you would put on big boy pants and change out of those short shorts. What are you talking about, Cuz? Oh, oh sorry no. Sorry about that, Mr. Regal. Oh, all right. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, <laughs> NXT me. TakeOver, there is a whole lot going down tonight, and we are filling up the Barclays Center. If you at home couldn't be here with us, it's okay. You can still catch all the action, but there's only one way to do it. you got to head on over to WWENetwork.com, sign up, and you can get NXT TakeOver. It is free for all new subscribers in the card tonight. You don't want to miss it. Well, we talked about how amazing it's going to be, of course. The tag team titles are on the line. Tonight we find out if Mustache Mountain can get those titles back from the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. Those Mustache Mountain boys are awesome. Also this evening, the impeccably tanned human money printing machine EC3 will take on Velveteen Dream, and I cannot wait to watch these two egos collide in Barclays Center. And Ricochet, he has been pushing and pushing to take on Adam Cole for some time now. Tonight, he finally gets his chance, and the North American Championship is up for grabs. The NXT Women's Championship on the line, as well as Kaidi Sane tries to get that title away from Shayna Baszler. That's going to be streaming live and only on the WWE Network. For free for new subscribers, which is 
outlandish Unbelievable. that a successful Unbelievable. company's doing that. In the main event, the headline this evening, it's a last man standing match with no rules. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano will battle it out here in what's meant to be a completely savage matchup. Last man standing is absurd. Well, we've seen them tear each other apart before. What are they gonna have to do to get one of them down for a full count of anything. 10? Anything, they can do anything. Anything, Some anything. So much going on tonight, but the action isn't stopping there. Tomorrow, it continues with the SummerSlam kickoff show. That is going down 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, and then it keeps on going. We have the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, that getting started at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Oh my goodness, tomorrow's gonna be crazy. I mean, that SummerSlam card, uh, Roman Reigns finally gets his universal title rematch against Brock Lesnar. The WWE Championship is on the line when AJ Styles defends against Samoa Joe, and of course, the Raw Women's Championship. It's Alexa Bliss defending against Ronda Rousey. Free, you say? Free, oh, for, for new subscribers, free. free. For new subscribers, so let's, let's get this straight. NXT TakeOver SummerSlam free for new subscribers. I mean, this is unbelievable. You got to get on over to www.network.com, sign up, and you can get both of those huge events tonight and tomorrow. They're free for new subscribers. I don't know what anyone's waiting for. Go do it right now. <laughs> All right, guys, we are six minutes away Look at from this going crowd. live on the WWE Network with TakeOver Brooklyn. This place, electric. I mean, it's electric. It's only going to get more and more so because there is a lot on the line tonight. I mean, not only do we have championships on the line, but gosh, the rivalries that are going down tonight. I mean, the last man standing match, we gotta talk about that, the main event well, between Tomasa Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Pure hatred fueling this match. That's the ultimate rivalry, because not only is it a rivalry, but the NXT Championship Absolutely. is now on the line between these two. We've never seen them compete like this. Mm -hmm. A last man standing match. Of course, at the last takeover, Gargano made that ultimate mistake. He went against everything that he's always done. He, he became a different Johnny Gargano, and in my mind, watching it, I think that that's what ultimately cost him. We'll see if he's learned from his mistakes. It's, it's absolutely absurd. I have a lot of respect for refs, you know? They yeah. don't get enough credit. The ref's job tonight, he's only doing one thing, and that's counting to 10, potentially. There's no rules. They can do whatever they want. And the, the championship is on the line. This is going to be electric, a lightning rod just waiting well, to happen. They're going to tear the place down. Pat, you've been here with me the last two takeovers watching these matches happen, and these are the type of matches that the NXT locker room yep. is watching going, oh, my God, I can't believe what we're seeing. What do you think? The world has, should be watching like that. What do yeah. you think either Ciampa or Gargano are going to have to do to the other one to get them down for an, a full, not a three count, a full ten count? I cannot wait to see what they pull. Anything goes there. From Mustache Mountain and the Undisputed Era all the way to the main event with Katty Sane and Shayna. I cannot believe they're giving this away for free for, on WWENetwork.com. For it's, new subscribers. For Let, new subscribers. They're giving away the company <laughs> with a loaded card. Let me hear your predictions for this NXT Championship match? Honestly, I think Gargano is too emotional. I think he's too angry. I think Ciampa continues to be more and more focused. Tonight, Ciampa. All right, very quickly. You know who wins? The viewers. The, the viewers definitely what will win. And tonight, the viewers hack. very well may witness the final chapter in this bitter rivalry between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. Let's have a night. Since day one, my goal, my dream, my everything is to be the NXT champion. For you, Johnny Gargano, hope is lost. Faith is broken. Your fairy tale, it's over. In Chicago, all I saw was anger and hatred and suffering. That's why you won. After beating Johnny, freaking wrestling with my hands, cuffed together, you're damn straight. I knew I was the number one contender. Alistair, boy, you have something that I want. You know better than anyone what the NXT Championship means to me. Because even after Chicago, you knew you could twist the knife even more. 
Johnny, just like you were ready to replace me? I knew I couldn't let you win. Wait a minute! Johnny Gargano! Johnny Gargano, what the hell? You didn't mean to do that, boy. Oh my god! No. I replaced you. No! No! Oh my god! Tommaso Ciampa is NXT champion because of me. This is my NXT now! Never in a million years did you think the Gargano fairy tale ended like this. This is not your NXT! Now while I'm still breathing! Johnny Gargano loses. I win. The only reason he's NXT champion is because of me! I guess you're right. The only reason he's NXT champion is because of you. You three are hell-bent on destroying each other. So at NXT, take over Brooklyn. The NXT championship will now be decided in a triple threat match. Alistair Black has sustained substantial injuries. And while Alistair is no longer standing, two men are. So in the main event for the NXT Championship, it will be Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa in a last man standing match. From an unsanctioned match in New Orleans to a street fight in Chicago, have I given everything? Not yet. Understand the real story here. This isn't Johnny Gargano's fairy tale. This is about me. The greatest sports entertainer of all time. I got one more shot to achieve my dream. Not just become NXT champion, but to stop Tommaso Ciampa. This is my proof. Takeover Brooklyn will be my ultimate moment. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure Tommaso Ciampa does not leave Brooklyn, the NXT champion. Our women have completely changed the game. This is why, this is awesome. This is a big money fight anywhere on the globe. This is where you find out who you really are as an NXT superstar. This is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn.